Is this the end of the Lamar Jackson era with the Baltimore Ravens? This is a question that I loathe. I hate it with a passion. I do not like it at all. Not one bit. Um, not because it's not a valid question. Not because it's not a legitimate question. Because it is both of those things. It's both valid and legitimate. And I think there is serious cause for concern as to this that possibly being the case. That it is Lamar Jackson's. Uh, just his last ride uh, with the Ravens. I, of course, hope that it's not. Um, but there's so many different things that can lead you to believe that this very well could be. Um, and, and, of course, with the, the national media and the public, just them talking about it more and more and th it catching the attention of them. Because look at it. If, if you look back, like you look back at last year, you even look back at this offseason and, and even early, early this season, um, right before the season started and right when the season started. If you would have asked like a lot of the national media, hey, you think this is Lamar Jackson last season with the Ravens? I guarantee 99% of them would have said no. It's not Lamar Jackson last season with the Ravens. He ain't going nowhere. Ravens are keeping him. I guarantee they 99% of them would have said that. But now you fast forward to, to December of 2022 today being the december 26 and you ask a lot of them same the national media you could ask a bunch of them and i guarantee it would change a lot i think it'll be more like 50 50. you ask a lot of ravens fans a lot of ravens fans are like really feeling like because i've been seeing so many people just voice their opinions on it which i appreciate because i always appreciate people voicing their opinions especially when it's respectfully um, but I've been seeing a lot of Ravens fans talk about it too. A lot of Ravens fans, are, they really feel like this, this is a wrap. They feel like it's, it's, it's coming to an end. They really do. Some people feel like Lamar Jackson has played his last snap as a Raven. I don't believe that. Uh, I think he'll come back this year. Uh, but th there's some people that just feel like, hey, after this year, whatever happens, that's, that's going to be it. That's going to be it. Um, so I, I'm hoping that it's not it. I'm hoping Ravens could get this thing done, but the way that things are headed, even like a lot of lo local media, they even noticing some stuff too. And and, and maybe, hey, because cause it is a nasty game, because we, we've been seeing some articles and some information get put out about Lamar Jackson, and the timing of it has been, I don't know, a little strange, but it, it seems like they're trying to just put out some stuff, and the, the timing, the timing of so much of the stuff that has been being put out is just, it makes you scratch your head. It really makes you scratch your head. First, it was this off season. Um, they were talking about, oh, there's some stuff going on with the organization that could make your head spin. There's some stuff happening with Lamar that the Ravens don't like. And that was this off season. I was like, hmm, the timing is strange. Why didn't we hear about this in year four or year three or year two? Anyway, um, it, it was just very weird. I said contract. You're like fifth year option contract. Mm, but hey, who, who knows? I don't know. Right. Um, then before this season started, there was the whole, oh, hey, I, I heard you don't like working out. I heard you don't like working out, Lamar. And Lamar was like, who told you that? Oh, sources. sources. Who those sources are? Hey, who, who knows? Who knows? Um, and it's, it's just been, you, you've seen different articles being written and the words that are used and the insinuations and stuff. I, again, I, I know it's a nasty business. I know it is, but... It's a lot of stuff that you see and it just makes you scratch your head and wonder like, hmm, ah, I see, I see what's going on, but we just going to chill, keep the peace. But anyway, um, we're going to talk about one of the reasons why one of my guys thinks that this is the end of the Lamar Jackson era with the Baltimore Ravens in a bit. But first, I got to give a special shout out to the newest team, Keep It Clean channel members. Shout out to my guy, uh, Lyndon Clemens. Lenny, he... Uh, much love to you, man. I got a lot of love for you and appreciation for everything that you've done for me um, and the fam and stuff. And just I, I appreciate you a lot, man. So thank you for becoming a channel member, man. You already know what time it is. Also, shout out to Aiden Falvo. Aiden, um, he uh, it was funny because during the Falcons and Ravens live stream, he was just trying to subscribe. He wasn't even trying to become a channel. He was just trying to subscribe in the first place. He said it wasn't letting him subscribe. But not only was he able to subscribe, but he upped it and became a channel member too. So shout out to you for you just fighting through that and then taking it to a whole other level. Uh, and then shout out to my guy Raymond Long as well. I'm pretty sure Raymond Long is a, is a Team Keep It Clean patron too. So shout out to you, man, for, for really just double dipping in uh, support. 
So I appreciate that. And I mean, speaking of the uh, the Team Keep It Clean patrons, I got to give a special shout out to the newest three Team Keep It Clean patrons. That is K Rich, uh, Respect Red, and Paula H. So I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. Team Keep It Clean is literally, y'all are the best. Y'all are the best because y'all show an insane, 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 insane level of support. And the fact that y'all don't have to do it, but y'all do it so much. Because usually if it's something that you ain't got to do, you can be like, oh, yeah, I'm whatever about that. But y'all not whatever about support. So thank you for being the way that y'all are. Um, but this, this, this subject that we're talking about right now, this came up uh, because I noticed something that was at the end of my guy's apology. And let's just get into it. Uh, first question, well, slash apology, <laughs> came from my guy, The Solution for Kicks. He said, Engraven, I always love the content and look forward to it daily. I appreciate that. He said, shout out for being consistent. Uh, at the beginning of the season, I posted a reply on a video saying the Ravens were set at wide receiver and you disagreed and addressed it in a video or five, LOL. Yeah, probably five times five times five times, because we, we talked about that a lot, a lot. And we know a lot of people, a lot of people are like, hey, what are you still talking about wide receiver for, buddy? What are you doing that for, buddy? We got Babin, buddy. We got Duvernay, buddy. Prochet, Benjamin Victor. Oh, we just signed to Marcus Robinson. We got Isaiah Likely. He can play receiver. We got Mark Andrews. That's our real number one, buddy. We still talking about receivers for him. And we, of course, y'all know the rest of the story. But anyway, he said, however, I agree with you once we lost Bateman and Devin, a and Devin Big Play Duvernay uh, was not elevated in usage, nor was James Prochet. Uh, you were right that the front office did not prioritize getting an established big name wide receiver alongside Bateman just in case and it happened. Uh, instead, the Ravens went back to their old ways by kicking the tires on old wide receivers. Uh, Deshaun Jackson and now Sammy Watkins again, uh, plus going after bargain price wide receivers who are free agents. Isabella and Williams. 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 You. You talking about. Oh, I wonder if you're talking about Demarcus Robinson. I wonder if you got, just got it mixed up. But anyway, uh, he said, this is a matter of devaluing the position, poor coaching and strategy. Basically, this is an indictment of Harbaugh's culture and strategy. Uh, we can set up a GoFundMe account to send Roman to coach a D2 school, but Harbaugh will bring in another one of his bros and the hamster wheel continues to spin. That's deep right there, but everybody has, well, not everybody, but most people have caught on to what happens at the offensive coordinator. But anyway, um, he said, in summation, see, this is the part that got me right here. In summation, you were right and the suffering continues. Let's appreciate the Lamar era because it appears the end is near. Mm. That would be something. That, that would be something. I, I really hope that it isn't. I really hope that it isn't. But it just seems like a, a lot of signs are pointing to that. And it seems like some people um, associated, affiliated with the Ravens and whatnot, it seems like they're trying to sort of sway the public opinion on him a bit and they're sort of trying to give us little hints here and there like okay yeah Lamar's not gonna be here in the future hopefully I would love to be wrong about that I, I would love for all these hints that we've been seeing in the media and stuff and these articles and whatnot I would love for all these hints to just be a bunch of nothing but I just don't think it's coincidental yeah this feels like a dream So team keep it clean welcome to another episode of questions from subs where you can ask any question that you want to and we answer in a video like this uh, if you want to be part of it uh if you're a team keep it clean patron and shout out to the team keep it clean patrons by the way y'all can send it directly on patreon do not send it via email if you're a patron send it directly on patreon uh, but if you're not, which is fine too, y'all know I still love y'all, y'all can send it to an email, y'all can send it via email, but send it to the right 
correct email. All the information is down below in the description. If you ever want to send anything to the PO box, it's down below in the description. If you ever want to support the channel any other ways, it's down below in the description. Let's get into this next question that came from another Team Keep It Clean patron, my guy Dominic. He said, Hey, great. We hope you and the fam are doing well. I just seen a post from Adam Schefter talking about Sean Payton uh, that he's interested in returning to coaching and he's building a staff already. And Vic Fangio would be his defensive coordinator. I think if we were to fire Harbaugh or trade him to the Saints, which I don't think either one of them is happening. Neither one of them is happening. Like, he, he's getting ready to go to the playoffs. He's Eric LaCosta's next door neighbor. Harbaugh ain't going anywhere. He ain't going anywhere. In, in my opinion, I don't think he's going anywhere. Harbaugh to the Ravens, to Bishotti, to EDC. Harbaugh is as safe as it can possibly get. Like, he is his team made the playoffs with two games left? Two, you, like, we're not used to it. With two games left, they made the playoffs? Harbaugh ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. All right, but anyway, let's get back to the question. Uh, he said, I think if we were to fire Harbaugh or trade him to the Saints, this would be a great move for this team. What are your thoughts? Uh, I, with Vic Fangio, <laughs> that dude ain't putting on no Ravens shirt. Yeah, well, you know what? I take that back. If that check was right, he getting a check from the Ravens. He's going to be like, oh, sorry. I didn't mean what I said about Harbaugh and the Ravens and their safety issues. My apologies. I'll come back and be a coach there again. So, because uh, I remember that Broncos game from last year. Y'all remember. Um, and all the beef and all that So that's funny But I, I, Sean Payton ain't gonna be the head coach of the Ravens next year It ain't happening I, I just don't see Ravens are a team that loves to, to, to bring in draft They love to get as many draft picks as they could possibly get I don't see them being willing to give up draft picks in order to get a coach. Then the next question came from uh, my old newest Team Keep It Clean patron, K. Rich. Said, I ain't great. I want to start out by saying I appreciate you and your videos a lot. No, I, I appreciate you and thank you. He said, I decided to become a patron because every time I watch one of your videos, it's like hearing myself think about the Ravens. We think <laughs> exactly the same when it comes to Baltimore Ravens. And I have never disagreed on one subject, not one. Okay, wow. So what you're basically saying is that you're crazy too, because I'm crazy. I'm crazy. So if we think the same, especially about the right, then that means we got two crazies looking at each other right now. I'm looking at you. Yeah, I'm looking at you, K-Rich. Yeah. I'm looking at you. And you looking at me. We both crazy together. So I appreciate your craziness. Anyway, he said, uh, and I think uh, that's a special thing. <laughs> so why not show some extra love uh, and support to someone who makes my day and a lot of Ravens fans days better? Much love to you and yours. Oh, man. That, I don't know what that got me. That, that made my day. Wow. I appreciate that, man. Man, <laughs> got me over here tearing up. That, like, I, I, I really appreciate that, man. Thank you. That, that, was, uh, that was real special, man. That was real special. And I, I, I really, really, really appreciate you. And I appreciate your appreciation for the videos. So thank you. Thank you to all of y'all for watching. Thank you to, to everybody for supporting. Thank you, team. Keep it clean. I love y'all. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like got to made it. How to made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens. Like the Ravens. And you know just what I mean.